Always sorry about that. We had a battery run out, but but we will continue to talk about this end time as we have to gather together. Now, you have to remember our 70 week teaching. Now, if you don't know our 70 week teach, teach, uh, teaching, then you need to go back and look at the two sections that we taught about the 70 weeks. Because I want you to understand that when you in in uh, Daniel chapter 9, and you go from verse 24 on down, it speaks about the 70 weeks. And this is 490 years. Now, in this 490 years, the Jews were supposed to complete six things. And understand that the 2300, the, 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 the 2300 years and the 490 years both started at the same time. So this gives us a revelation and understanding that the 490 years is the beginning of the 2300 years. So we, we, we have to understand that we, that we pinpointed the exact time using the word of God, looking at the book of Luke and, and putting all this together on, as we learn that he was the anointed one. And when he was anointed in A.D. 27, because there is no zero year between uh, B.C. and A.D., it's, it go from go from one to one. And it shows that when Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit, is when he was being the Messiah, when he entered into his ministry, this was in the A.D. 27. It was right after his baptism. So history confirms it. The Bible lines up exactly perfectly with A.D. 27, which connect perfect with Daniel 20 and Daniel chapter 9 way back in the past in the beginning of the 70 weeks and the beginning of the 2300 years now Jesus was born in the fullness of time right on time they could have read their Bibles in the book of Daniel and read the book of Ezra and read the decree when that was given and they could have known absolutely the very year the Messiah was to come. But many of them missed him. They was looking for other things. They 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 they, they wanted a political ruler and instead of, instead of a spiritual king. That's why the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all all the things will be added unto you. It is the spiritual manifestation, is what you're looking for. In Galatians 4, verse 4. When the fullness of time would come, God would bring forth his son. See, he came at the right time. <laughs> this is the reference of the 70 weeks. That there is a time, and as it grows, it comes greater and greater. And when it's full, it's complete. And in the fullness of time is when Jesus was born, as it had been predicted, based on Daniel chapter 9 based on when Daniel appeared at this point. Jesus recognized him in Mark chapter 1. Jesus said right after his baptism and he went about preaching and teaching the gospel of God and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. The time was fulfilled. Something had happened Something has come to its completion and the time is fulfilled is a reference to is the 70 week prophecy because that's when he was appealed. So, so as he was baptized right before he said this word. So he was baptized. Uh, it, it is so strong that, that, that we need to hold on to that because this gives us a, a tremendous amount of confidence and assurance in God to trust in him as he points these things out. Now, after the Messiah was appear, after the 62 weeks, he shall be cut off. You know, 
but not for himself. We see that. Now, if you were to go back and study and, 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 and look at our 70-week uh, uh, study, you would know that he would give up his life for him being the, the lamb of the God to take away all the way to sins of the world. He was the messianic prophecy in Isaiah 53. So listen, it, 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 is, all, it, it, it is all there for us to, to gather and get a hold to. So we, not for us to be able to point out that we know this or we know that or, or, or this is that, but this is to encourage us to give urgency to tell others about the, the kingdom of God is at hand. This should give us encouragement. This should give us uh, urgency to talk to talk to others about the man of God. This should give us uh, uh, the interest in telling others about the man Christ Jesus. So we, we saw that, uh, all of that as we read it, and it, it was a powerful thing. Now listen, in, in so so Jesus fulfilled all of it, and and this fulfillment it shows the shows that the dying on the cross, the the the, the veil splitting in the temple, all of this was very important. These were very significant things that happened for you and I. So we can have an answer for our faith when others begin to question us about our faith. So, so we will be able to, to teach, to we can be able to, to bring forth disciples of Jesus Christ. And maybe some of you might be saying, well, I can't remember all this stuff. I, I can't, I, I, I'm not like you. I, I, I can't do all of this here. This is why we can write it down. This is why we can study it over and over again, make it sacred of nature for, or we can tell them, come on, go to the church with us. We can give them tidbits of it. it we, we can show them figures and shadows that will show that Jesus would come and all of this here. See, we can do all of this. This is why we should be his witnesses. This is why we should be his oracles. But this is the mandate of God for you and I. This is God giving us what we were supposed to do. Now, as we put these pieces together in 457 BC the beginning of the 70 weeks the decree was given in Ezra chapter 7 to restore and, re and rebuild Jerusalem in AD 27 Jesus was baptized and that the Messiah would appear that he became anointed as a Messiah at that point in Daniel 9 verse 25 in AD 27 and then in AD 31, it, that the Messiah was cut off. If you read that verse carefully, in Daniel 9, in the middle of the week, he'll be cut off. So the middle of the half of seven, it, Okay, if you read that, it'd be half cut off there. So now all you, in the middle of the week, he'd be cut off. So the middle of the half of seven, at the, so that's three and a half years. So looking at the time, it is remarkable that Jesus died at the Passover at the spring of April 31. So it was... It, so th this was happening every year, all the time. He was baptized in the fall in A.D. 27, three and a half years prior that he began his ministry. And the, the Bible is pinpoint accurate because God automatically knows the future. And God knows what we need to know, you and I. So... 
so we could keep up with it. So it started to 70 weeks, 457. The 490 to the year 34 AD. Now what happened in AD 34? In AD 34, which three and a half years after Jesus Christ died on the cross, the leaders of the Jewish nation sealed their rejection of Christianity by the stoning of Stephen. He is actually the first Christian martyr. They killed him in Acts chapter 7 by Jesus was the Messiah. They clubbed their ears and they gnashed their teeth and they rushed at Stephen and they stoned him. And the words of the apostles said, shortly after this event happened, at the end of the 70 weeks, the Jews has not accomplished those six things that they were supposed to do in the time of their probation, the 490 years. So they rejected the Messiah and his servant and him in the form of his servant. So notice what Paul said, that it is necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you rejected, did they reject it? Did they kill Jesus? Did they seal the messengers? that you could still be forgiven? Yes, they killed him. So they persecuted them all. But since you rejected and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, behold, this is Paul and Barnabas, return to the Gentiles. Why, why did they say it like that? We change and chip the focus of our ministry had been, the focus had been until the 70 weeks would be appealed to God people was the literal nation of Israel to humble themselves and repent and accept Jesus the Messiah, but they had hardened their heart, but they chose not to do so. So now Paul and Barnabas said they're going to turn to the Gentiles. Now the, the Gentiles became the focus of Paul the apostle which became now they became to deliver it to the world now they were supposed the Jews were supposed to show that the, the, the love and the power of God but they rejected they they chose to become self-seeking and close themselves off and thought of themselves better because they knew this message but they didn't fulfill the divine purpose that God had for them and that's very sobering for you and I. But Jews can still be saved. But they be saved individually. But as a whole nation in the form of the leadership of the Sanhedrin, who was the governor of the people, they rejected the message of the Messiah. Listen, this prophecy is an amazing thing because he was born right up time. It was any other time in history that the person is is out of line. It's, it's so many details and definite dates that was placed in, 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 in order for us to be assurance of who Jesus Christ is. So Jesus became the Messiah and anointed when he was baptized. And, and this whole prophecy in the bigger sense has always been about Jesus Christ. It was described that being a prophecy to tell us when he was come. In Daniel 8, it announced his work as the cleansing of the sanctuary as the great high priest. But there's two different times. Now we're going to put this together, these details. They all are reflective of and give a picture and a method of the highest order and importance of Jesus as his work and role and function as our Messiah and Savior for the 70 weeks, for the second of all, our great high priest who is serving in the heavenly sanctuary and is cleansing, purifying, and forgiving sin to everyone that's coming to him. And they both are essential and they both come together. <laughs> they all a part of God's perfect plan for, for humanity, for the removal of sin. Did you get a chance to see that? At the first coming, it was people that failed to understand his first coming. 
They could have known he 